Hello. If you're thinking about becoming a community or town councillor, this short film may help to give you a better idea of what's involved. Did you know that there are 735 community and town councils in Wales? Is there one where you live? Community and town councils form an elected tier of local government. The other tier is county or county borough councils. These councils have a legal duty to deliver services such as education, town and country planning, environmental health and social services. Community and town councils have the legal power to take action, but they have fewer duties. What matters to you in your local area? Is it taking action about litter in the streets, preserving your library services, improving services for older people, or making sure that local businesses can thrive? You could be the person to make the difference by becoming a community or town councillor. Perhaps you're already volunteering in your community and want to take the next step. Or maybe you have time to fill and are looking for a worthwhile and rewarding way to use your skills and expertise. As a councillor, you will be able to take the lead in sustaining community action and achieving long-term developments. The council will have its own plans and policies that respond to the needs of the community. The council has an advantage over other community groups because it can collect funds from all households through its precept. This is a tax which is collected alongside your council tax. There are roughly 8,000 community and town councillors in Wales. You may feel that you do not match the profile of a councillor, but this image is changing. The Welsh Government's Diversity and Democracy programme is making the difference. The aim of the programme is to ensure there is a more diverse range of candidates standing for election to local government. Currently, only 26% of elected representatives on Welsh councils are women, and only 2% of elected representatives identify themselves as BME, LGBT and disabled. Over the last two and a half years, the programme has created a mentoring scheme for people from underrepresented groups and a publicity programme to raise awareness of what is involved in being a local government councillor. The mentoring scheme currently has over 60 councillors and over 50 mentees signed up, with no less than 20 of these mentees intending to stand for election to various political positions, such as a community or county council, in the local government elections in May 2017 and beyond. This is all very hopeful. It is important that councils have councillors who reflect the communities they serve whilst representing them. The best community or town council represents all parts of its community and creates a sense of belonging. It aims to be inclusive by ensuring that no one feels disadvantaged. Community and town councils can use their legal powers to provide many services, from community centres to festivals and allotments to buses. As a community or town councillor, you will be expected to attend council meetings and participate in the council's decision-making process. You may also be expected to represent your council externally. You may be wondering if you need any special skills, qualifications or experience. You don't actually need any specific qualifications to be a councillor. However, life skills are very relevant in this role and you may have gained skills and knowledge through your professional, personal or community experience. Your individual qualities will be valued. Groups made up of diverse individuals tend to make better informed decisions. Your council will be able to arrange induction training when you start. Hopefully, you now have a better idea of what councils are all about. There is also an FAQ sheet on the Diversity and Democracy page of the Welsh Government website for more information. If you're interested, you may wish to contact your local council and observe a council meeting or have a chat with the clerk or councillors. You can also access the candidate guidance from the One Voice Wales website. The Electoral Commission website also has regulations and procedures guidance. Good luck.